This is a map of what the U.S. looked like in the early 1800s, and you can clearly see that most of what we now consider North America was actually part of Mexico. But in a few short decades, the map looked like this. Here's how it happened. A lot of Americans moved into this northern part of Mexico called Texas, or what we now call Texas, and they really liked it there. But you know who didn't like it that much? The Mexican government. So they sent some soldiers to fight and get the territory back, but the Texans came out on top. But they actually declared independence and created their own country called the Republic of Texas, which existed for a little bit until they joined the United States of America. And when this guy, President Polk, came to power, he was hellbent on trying to get California from Mexico. He offered $25 million for the land, which Mexico declined. And so President Polk said, well, time for a war, and ended up sending soldiers, starting a war, and getting the territory. So today there's a huge border running right through what used to be Mexico. And now you know how the U.S. stole Mexico. Learning the truth about history is important, and we've got two books that can help. Head to TuttleTwins.com history to check them out for yourself.